What's up, guys? We're going to talk about some AdWords today. Um, we're going to tell you guys what it is. Matt and I talk all the time. We just assume that you guys know, you know, a lot about it, but we found out that, you know, sometimes you don't know much about it at all. So we're going to tell you kind of the basics of what it is, how we structure campaigns, why you need to be on AdWords, um, and a lot more. So what is AdWords, guys? It is um, a pay-per-click advertising platform. And when someone searches on Google, you bid on a keyword or a phrase that would be relevant to your business. So if you're a landscaper, you might, you know, bid on a key term, landscaping companies near me. And when someone searches that search term on Google, your ad will pop up and it goes into an auction. So if there's multiple people cert- like bidding on that same key term, um, it'll go into an auction and your ad will be displayed at the top of Google. So one of the main differences between AdWords and organic SEO is that your ad you are paying to play. So your ad will be shown at the top of Google instead of you know at the middle or the bottom. And we talk about it a lot right now. They just, you know, Google guarantees coming out. We got AdWords, they have Google Places, and then you have organic halfway down the page. So if you're not doing Google ads and you're, you know, focusing on SEO or you're not doing anything at all, when people search for a term that would be completely relevant to your business, it's a customer that is asking Google a question and it's completely relevant to what you do and they're looking for your services. If you are not on Google My Places or Google AdWords, or you're just trying to do SEO, you're gonna end up at the middle or the bottom of the page. And we live in a time right now where people don't have patience. They can't wait to figure out who they're, if if you're not at the top of the page, they're not gonna keep scrolling to page one or page two or page three to find out who it is. They're gonna click on somebody at the top because they think that the people at the top are reputable um, and it's just convenient for them. So organic is on by the time they get past it organics on the middle to the bottom of the page and adwords as soon as you pay to play and you get your campaign set up as soon as you get all your keywords in place your ads your campaigns all the good stuff you're going to be showing up in the top three slots because they are searching for a term that you are paying for Um, and that's kind of how it works on you know just a broad scale so that's the biggest difference between seo and paid is that you get to pay to play and you're going to show up at the top immediately and the best part is is you're only bidding on keywords that are relevant to your company so for example if you own a landscaping company um you know there's a lot of different keywords you can bid on and that's why you want to make sure you do your keyword research so you know what you're showing up on Um, but you're going to show up for landscapers near me. So you're only going to show up if someone types in landscapers near me. Um, You're not going to show up for, you know, lawn mowers. You're not going to show up for anything like that. You only show up for what you put into your keywords. So there's, you know, a lot, we see a lot of times we'll go into accounts and we'll do an audit for people. We do free audits. So if you're running Google AdWords right now and you want us to go in and take a look, Um, shoot us a message but we'll go in and the biggest mistake I always see is there's four different types of keywords you have broad phrase broad modified and exact Um, so if you type in just a broad keyword that says just lawn lawn care companies each of those individual words will show up for anything it'll be literally anything you'd be amazed at how many different kinds of phrases show up so if you type in lawn care company you're going to show up for lawn mowers You're going to show up for um, lawn care supplies, anything random. It could be something that's completely irrelevant to your business. Um, And the, so you also have to have negative key terms. So if you're using broad, you're going to need a lot of negative key terms because you can't, if you're going to type in lawn care company as a broad match, you're going to have so many irrelevant keywords that you need to put in. So for us, we don't even use broad. Um, So I'm not going to talk too much about it. And I would never recommend for you guys to use broad either. Um, There are a couple certain situations where you would need it, but 90% of the time you're not going to use broad. So we always use either broad, modified, phrase, or exact match. Um, And just to go to the far end of the spectrum, exact match is you put brackets around your key phrase. So now if I type in lawn care companies in exact match, which has brackets around it, um, then the only time your ad will be shown is if they type in that exact key phrase in that order. So if they type in lawn care companies near me, you're not going to show up. But if they type in lawn care company, you're going to show up 
So it has to match exactly what you typed in. Um, and that's how you can eliminate a lot of those negative key terms. So in our account, sometimes people are like, you don't have very many negative key terms. Well, yeah, because our search terms are so relevant to what they're searching for that we don't get bad search terms um, because they have to, we're only showing up when they type in that exact match. Um, but we also do use broad modified, which is a plus sign in front of the keywords. So it'll be like plus sign lawn, plus sign care, plus sign company. Um, and then that way you can show up if they type in lawn care company near me, you will still show up. Um, so that way you're not missing out on those terms either because lawn care company near me is still relevant to you. Um, so we can go in a lot on the keywords, but that's just, so you have broad, which we don't rarely ever use. We actually never use it. You have broad match modified, which is the plus signs. Then you have phrase match, which is quotation marks around your keyword or key phrase. And then you have exact, which is brackets around it. Um, and it, it really just matters on how in depth it has to be or how close it has to be to that phrase. So the further exact, it has to be exactly like that. The further to broad, it could be broad, any spectrum of any words with any of those three words in them. Um, so that's that. And then you have your negative key terms. So if you're using broad, you're gonna need a lot of negative key terms. If you're using exact, you're probably not gonna need very many at all. So that's the biggest thing though. If, when you're using, if you're using broad or broad modified, you have to be checking daily your search terms. So every time someone clicks on your ad from Google, it will show you exactly the phrase that they Googled when they clicked on your ad. Um, so that way you can tell. So if they typed in lawn care company, you know, or like broken lawn care or broken lawn mower, whatever, you'll see that in the search term, you would have to add broken as a negative key term. So you always got to be on top of it. So that way you are not spending money on clicks that are irrelevant to your business and will never convert um, because that's the whole thing. You're paying for those clicks. So you want to make sure those clicks are spot on. And when you want to make sure your search term report is spot on because every time you click, every time they click on your ad, you are paying for it. So that's a little bit about the keywords um, and how the keywords work is you put a bid on them. So every time that you want to say, you know, when we first build out campaigns, there's multiple different, you know, types of bidding that you can do. We always start with maximize clicks because it lets Google do a lot of the hard work for us on the back end. Um, and then after, you know, a while, once we get all that data, then we switch it over to manual cost per click. And so, you have your campaigns, you have your ad groups, and then you have your keywords. So we like to structure ours. If you are if you do multiple services, you're gonna have a campaign for each service. Um, it's gonna be window cleaning. And then you're gonna have uh, a different campaign for power washing, a different campaign for lawn care. Whatever your services are, you wanna make sure you split those up in between different campaigns. And then under each campaign, they have their own ad groups with their own ads. So lawn care company might be its own ad group and all of your keywords for that ad group are going to be completely relevant to lawn care company. Um, so you're going to have exact match keywords, lawn care companies, lawn care companies near me, lawn care companies in my area, all those different terms, they're going to be completely relevant to that ad group. Um, and then the actual ad is going to be completely relevant to that too. So your ad's going to, you know, your copy's going to say something like lawn care companies call now for you know, a free estimate, whatever it is. So you want to make sure that that is all relevant um, into that. So if you're bidding on a key term, lawn care companies, every time that gets searched, it's going to be get put into an auction with anyone bidding on that um, term. And you set that on the ad on the keyword level. So you want to say when you're creating those ad groups, I don't want to pay more than $7 for this, this key phrase. So every time someone shows up, you're going to spend anywhere between, you know, five or seven bucks, but not going over whatever you set it to. But you have to make sure that because you're not the only one bidding on that search term. So you have to make sure that you're not too low to where you're, you know, you're not showing up at all because now you're, you're not paying to play. If someone else is bidding $12 on it and you're only willing to pay five, then they're going to show up above you. But there are some, you know, little hacks that you can do to where, you don't have to pay the most to show up number one. Um, and we'll talk about that kind of stuff, you know, a little bit later on, but just, just basic, the more you pay and it, it's supply and demand. So if someone else is willing to pay, if that search term has a high like demand for it, um, then you're going to pay more for it. And so a lot of the 
a lot of your guys' services that are a lot more lucrative, um, you're going to pay more. So roof, roof, roofing companies, they pay probably the most that we've seen um, around these kind of, you know, industries because it's a lot more lucrative. So people, they're willing to spend more money to get that key term because they know if they land that job, they're going to make a lot more money. So it, it's just supply and demand. So if you're bidding on lawn care company, you got to make sure that you're not too low to where you're not showing up, but then you're not overpaying too. So you got to find that medium and you got to be tweaking it constantly until you figure out where that medium is to where you've got it down to your lowest cost per click, but you're still showing up number one in your location. So that's kind of how the bidding works is you set it. So we start off with maximize clicks. Um, that's our bidding option that we usually start off with. And we just let Google tell us, you know, what that is going for. Um, and we'll let that run for a little while. And then we switch it over to manual cost per click. And then that way we can change the keywords on a keyword level instead of a campaign level. So if lawn care company is going for, you know, $7 and 37 cents, we can change just that keyword to 737. We don't have to change the whole ad group. So if you have a lot of keywords in one ad group, you can individually change those keywords based on, because not all keywords are gonna be the same. You know, some might not be bidding on some keywords. So you might have opportunity in your areas um, for, you know, lawn care specialists. Maybe some, maybe not many people are bidding on that keyword. So you might be able to get that keyword for $3 a click and the other one might cost you seven or eight. So it's all completely relevant to uh, supply and demand. You got to figure out what the supply is and or what the demand is and then figure out how you're going to supply it. So you show up number one. Um, so that's kind of how that works. And then so there's there's a relevance to where if I'm going to search for lawn care companies, you got to have the relevance for the user. Google likes it when that user ends up on exactly what they're searching for. And that will help your quality score, which is what I talked about just a bit ago on how you can. Um, show up above somebody who's bidding a higher bid than you and you can show up above them if your quality score is good so that's why we separate everything into different ad groups because if you search lawn care company and we built your campaigns you're going to show up as a customer i'm searching lawn care company the first ad that pops up it's going to say lawn care company right in the ad lawn care company call now we're open monday through friday 6 a.m to 8 p.m or whatever so it's going to be completely relevant to what that person searched. And we see it all the time. If your keywords aren't on, if your if your keywords aren't spot on, we'll see companies where we'll search, you know, lawn care companies and there'll be a fertilizer company that shows up. Like I'm not even looking for a fertilizer and that person's wasting money because it's showing up. If I accidentally clicked on that and it took me to a fertilizing page, I'd be like that's not what I'm looking for. Back out. Well, they still paid for that click because they're not on top of their search keyword report so or their campaigns just not set up good so it has to be relevant to what they're searching for lawn care company ads going to pop up lawn care company they click on it it's going to take them to a landing page or a website that's all about lawn care company and you know why they need to you know call us or whatever it is so that's going to help your quality score if the relevance from the time they searched to the ad they clicked on to the landing page it took them to that will help your quality score um, be high enough. And if you have a higher quality score than your competition, you can actually bid less and show up before them. So that's the end goal. But that's not going to happen if you're going to try to run your AdWords on your own and you're not going to be paying attention. It's not set up correctly. You're not paying attention to your search terms report. And you're showing up for irrelevant search terms that aren't relevant to your business and they're clicking on it and they back out right away. Your quality score gets hurt. You're paying more cost per click. You're showing up less amount of the times and it's just a snowball effect on why it's not good. So that's why we're here to help. We're going to try to teach you guys how to set up your AdWords correctly. So that way your quality scores are high, your cost per clicks go down, your conversions go up and everybody wins. Um, and so that's what makes a good ad too. We're going to talk a little bit about what makes good ad copy. You got to have a call to action. You got to make sure it's relevant to what the person's searching for and you got to take them to a good landing page. Another thing is make sure your landing pages or your websites are built correctly too because so many times people call like my AdWords aren't working. It's not converting. We It takes them, we're like, all right, send us your website. We'll go check it out. So we go check out their website and they don't have a clickable phone number. They don't have about anything about their services. Their photos are blurry, like just bad, bad, bad. And so we're like, well, yeah, you're paying to for them to click onto your website, that's garbage. Of course, they're not going to hire you. 
takes 10 seconds to even load the, the website. So go online, figure out how your website, figure out your websites, guys, because that if you're going to do AdWords, then you got to have a good website. You got to make sure it loads fast because like I said earlier, nobody has patience. So if they click on your ad and it takes 10 seconds for your freaking website to load, they're backing out and they're clicking on the next ad. And that's how you're going to be paying. You just paid for that click that they backed down on because your website wasn't optimized either. So make sure your website is, you know, up and good and running and all that good stuff. And if you need help with that, we can, you know, either help you or get you in touch with someone too. So make sure you have a good ad, but that's what makes good ad copy too. You got to make sure that it's relevant for the user when they click on, you know, they Google lawn care company, takes them to a lawn care company, you know, ad pops up with a lawn care company website. You got a contact form, your phone number is clickable. They don't have, you make it as simple and convenient as possible. They ended up on your website, like bang, they see some information that your phone number is right there, your contact forms right there and they fill it out. So a lot of the times, honestly, we'll build, we build out a lot of like landing pages for our clients because it's just a lot simpler. So if you're doing five different services, um, we'll just build you out a landing page for each one. So that way for each campaign we build out, if it's a power washing campaign, we'll send them right to the power washing landing page. Um, and it just helps with your relevant score and quality score and all that good stuff. So that's a little bit about AdWords. I'm, I'm not going to go too far into it. I don't want I know some of you guys probably think like, I have no idea what he's even saying, not keeping up with it, but you know, you got to start somewhere. So trying to stay a little bit basic with you guys so you guys can follow along, but also provide you the value so you guys know what's going on with it. So um, yeah, that's it. So you guys, overall, you got to have good, you got to have your campaign set up right. You got to have your keywords set up right. You got to have good ad copy and you got to send them to a landing page or a website that converts. If you do all that stuff, um, it will work because that's the difference between AdWords and Facebook is Facebook, you know, they'll be searching on Facebook. They log on and you got to try to get them to convert to what you're offering. These people are searching for exactly what you offer. They're looking for, they're asking Google a question. 95% of the time, it's a question of where's a landscaping company near me? I'm looking for a lawn care company near me lawn care companies spent in Michigan, who, who cuts lawns near me, all these stuff, they're all asking for exactly what you offer. And if you're not on there, you're not showing up and they're clicking on someone else's ad. Um, and even if you're doing SEO or you're in Google places, those are all great, but you're still showing up halfway to three quarters of the way down the page. And nobody has the patience to scroll that far down. They click on the ad at the top and you're losing business. I promise. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much That's AdWords. They're searching for exactly what you do. And if you're not playing the game, you're losing and we got to get you on there. So if you guys have any questions, you can always send send us a message or whatever, and we can reach out and try to help you out. If you're running AdWords and you have questions and you want us to take a look, we do free audits um, and we can just send us your information. We'll log on and let you know how that looks, how your campaign looks, and if there's anything that we could do to help you. So uh we will be back soon we'll go more into this i don't want to bore you guys but um let us know what you guys think um matt's got some stuff coming up too we got a big announcement um and he'll be going into that so thanks for listening um and we'll talk to you guys soon this episode of the service industry podcast has ended but be sure to check out our other episodes please subscribe to the podcast if it has brought you any value and as always Don't forget to rate and review the show. Does your home service business need help getting new customers? Matt's company, Service Industry Marketer, can help. Service Industry Marketer specializes in print marketing, Google AdWords management, and Facebook ad management. Visit serviceindustrymarketer.com for more information. See you in the next episode.